Hi everyone. So today we're gonna to be loading up my snowmobile. I see a lot of videos on YouTube how people do this. There's a lot of different techniques, but you also see a lot of videos of people that like, the sled launches over the truck. More on sled decks, but the sled launches over, falls off. So there's a little bit of confusion maybe, or people just don't take their time when doing it. It's really not very hard to load it. I've done this dozens of times now and I find it not very difficult. The ramps kind of come up lower than go up steep. Um, they start off shallow, I mean, then go up steep, and that kind of helps with your track uh, to prevent slipping. Like, I have a 137, so when you start getting on the ramp, the just the tail end of the track is really touching the ground, so it's like kind of off the ground. That's why I have this thing over here. I made this out of some wood and some screws and a little ingenuity with my dad. It just kind of helps the track grab on. So before I had studs, I used that and that was worked really well and the reason why I made it is because the one that you buy for these ramps is like $70 or $80 and it wasn't even available when I was trying to get it and this cost whatever nothing because we had to have wood laying around so anyway here's the ramps I got I think this is some caliber material the glide material on here for the carbides that's really good the carbides glide right up and I have some shaper bars on here and they don't even really dig into it these are uh, i think they're black ice ramps i bought them on amazon they're like 300 dollars. and then here this is one of the key parts so i have some uh ratchet straps here that are self uh reclining i guess they retract self retracting so then i have two of them the original straps that come with this just loop around and they go in and they're just a pull cord like just pull it taut and then that's good enough they think but the ramps would like shift all around so i felt a little bit nervous about loading on that so i ended up putting a ratchet strap on but these work really good i just replaced them and then i got just a little bit of a loop here these are like uh this blue piece is just a separate piece of strap that i loop around and then i have these retractable straps and I crossed them going to the hitch on the truck. So then if we come up over here, you can see I got some of this board here. This is just like construction like you use for your house. I think it's just half inch or something. So the reason why I went with this is because it's insanely cheap. It was only like seven dollars for a sheet or something. And I've had and I leave it in here all season even I go ice fishing just throw the ice gear on top of it. And it works really good. I mean, you can see on the edge right here, the track sits, it gets a little wet and the carbides, you can tell, go a little bit into it, but not bad at all. And then over in the front here, just another old piece of wood and then two pieces of wood just to hold that on. But if you see right here, this is a key part of this, this wood is cut. So when I'm done loading it, I can slide the back part of the wood out and then just put it on top or below and then close the tailgate. So I don't have to worry about taking this in and out every time because normally we run this with a tonneau cover on it. So that works out really good. It's really cheap. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I actually load up my snowmobile. So when you're doing this, it's really important to put your helmet on. You wear it when you're riding down the trails, you have to wear it. So um, when you're riding, if you fall off, it'd be a pretty stupid reason to get a concussion or something. So I always put my helmet on when I'm loading my ramp, on my snowmobile on my ramps. Yeah. So here's the sled. You can see I have these to do ride on travel covers. The cover's on. Um, so yeah, I can, it's got a boot mark here so I can just stand right on it. So first thing you want to do is when you're coming onto the ramps, make sure you're lined up straight. So I knew where the ramps were, so I lined up pretty straight. And you can kind of tell if you're not sure, and you come back here, look at the tunnel, look at the line of the truck, and you can see I'm dead on. So I'm not too worried about uh, going side to side. Because if you load crooked, you need, you need a lot of space. You don't want to load crooked. So this is, this is good. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, go up the ramp, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gas it a lot. You see a lot of guys give it tons of gas to try to like shove it up there, but you don't need a lot of power to get up. 
you just got to have the clutches engaged and then drive up the ramp. The, the uh, center of the ramp says like a ladder, so the track grabs on it pretty good. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Here he goes. Loading that, very controlled, not a lot of movement from the ramps. It was very stable, and I didn't even need to use my little gra grabber on the back because we have some pretty sticky snow and I have studs on. But if you start sliding when you initially go up, you're probably going to need some sort of track grabber on the back. That's just the reality of it. So now I'm going to show you also, too, how I uh, strap it down. And when you're in this position, I would say it's probably a pretty good idea just to throw on the parking brake, which I'll do right now. It's on, and then you don't have to worry about on the off chance that your uh, snowmobile starts sliding backwards, which is unlikely, but if you can put it on quick, might as well go ahead and do that. We got an ice covered track because we had an awesome weekend of riding. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my ramps now. So do that. You don't have to crawl, but it's a little faster. Plus <laughs> I have my ice bibs on, and I have knee pads, so it's really not a big deal to me to do this. And I'm not on like crusty, salty snow. This is like nice snow that's not gonna get me all dirty. Okay, they so got those on. These are those loops I'm talking about. And I'll have links to all the products I use down below, some Amazon affiliate links. If you guys wanna support the channel, you can purchase through that. And then you can see the beauty of these now, right? Everyone's fussing about ratchet straps. This, you just push this button. Make sure it loads straight. Done. This. Done. That's super nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use these to secure the sled. So this is a little bit sled dependent. So I like to just kind of grab on to something on the suspension over here, like right around your spindles. And then I just loop it which is nice because I'm not going to scratch anything. It's pretty strong. And then I'll have this strap go to the ratchet strap to the other tie down in the corner. What that does is it gives me a little bit of side to side stability because I have an X in the front. And then I'm just going to put one ratchet strap around the bumper in the back. So this is the, um, the straps here. You can see I got them crossed. So there's not a ton of downward force on it. But you can see when I push it side to side, it's really not going anywhere. That's really if I'm turning, I don't want the sled to flip out or anything which i don't think this thing would move very much it's more if you got in an accident or you have to brake really hard but anyway that's what i do it seems to work out pretty good now at this point i'm gonna go ahead and close up my cover so this part a little bit easier two people but i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i do it by myself so you kind of just gotta wiggle the ramps out sometimes the track can get stuck between it so i just throw it on the ground fold it over and then, this is the hardest part probably. You gotta look. Mine fits pretty good just like that. And then, all I'm gonna do now is put a ratchet strap through here and through here, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're all set here. You can see I got ramps. Ratchet strapped down, I got the back end ratchet strapped. Everything looks pretty good. Just give yourself a once over for a sanity check. Make sure you're all good and then hit the road. Stay safe, enjoy the trails. Don't forget to like this video. It's very important for uh, so Subscribe. Good. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe too. Also, uh, give suggestions in the comments for more videos from Matt. Yeah, definitely. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I've been trying to make ice fishing videos. It's been a little tough. The ice hasn't been quite there yet for where I like to go, but soon, hopefully, with this guy, I got some big plans for where I could go on some lakes, go some like backwoods type stuff. I got the hitch here, got the otter sled, got a big shanty. My dad and I will go, probably bring Addison too, have some nice trips. It'll be pretty fun. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to browse my channel and subscribe. Take care and have a great day.